What is going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at a 2019 Airstream Atlas that was for sale at the La Mesa RV show in Scottsdale, Arizona. This coach was listed for $199,000. I saw it two days ago and as I'm editing it, it's already pulled off their website, so I think it's sold. This had a sticker of around $237,000 new. Notice the seamless windows, the two-tone silver and black. And this is the Airstream Tommy Bahama. This is the Airstream Atlas Tommy Bahama, the Relax Edition. I'm definitely liking the vibes of this coach. I had a chance to do one other video, a, a, a thorough walkthrough with one of the Airstream representatives. Uh, that video is worth checking out if you wanna see a real in-depth tour. But today I just wanna show you a complete tour of this coach. I also know that these are very sought after, so I wanted to show you the condition that it's in and let you know what they were asking. It was 199,000. So really considering a $237,000 price tag, losing less than 20% in the first year is pretty good resale value in my opinion. So I like all the Tommy Bahama decor that they use. Now, I think all of the bones uh, are the same as a normal Airstream Atlas, but the Tommy Bahama is just going to be the cool stitching, the cool Tommy Bahama logos, which just gives it a nice vibe. So this is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. So you'll notice it's the updated body style. So it's got the new digital screen, the steering wheel controls. Mercedes orders these with every option you can get on the Sprinter. And... They redo the seats with the Tommy Bahama stitching. Really nice look, and you can see the coach is beautiful inside there. They also did a custom carpet with the Tommy Bahama, the, the Marlin logo there. There's nice touches like the black and gray wood grain, but I will say the gray plastic is the same that I had on my 2014 Sprinter cargo van. Now, this does have the full body paint with silver. So if you're comparing this to other Class B and Class C rigs that have gel coat, this has a full body paint, which is gonna last a lot longer. It's got really nice steps. You can tell that they're a Kind of industrial style a lot a lot more sturdy looking than other steps you would see on other class b rvs and the styling with the straight lines no swoops and swirls uh, they really did a great job with the design now i tried to open this door and for whatever reason it didn't open up and i didn't want to I didn't want to break anything, so I didn't pull too hard, but that was one thing that concerned me a little bit. Nice big awning and the seamless windows, you can barely see them because they, they're flush with the black there. Now, when you go inside this coach, this is what it's all about. It's an Airstream, of course. So you've got the aluminum with the rivets the same way the airstream travel trailers have and this coach has a murphy bed so right now it's in the down position and i'm going to try to put it up here in just a moment but i thought i'd show you walk through the coach here first i think i i was trying to pull up on it but that wasn't working very well so you've got nice storage above the cab area here and it's got all of the you know island life live the island life tommy bahama logos throughout a nice digital touch screen where you can control your slide outs your awnings your skylight control the tv lift it's on the televator all your controls right there just a really nice setup I like the wood blinds. I like the aluminum roof there. The TV is on the televator, and then there's a nice size window behind it. Beautiful woodwork, and looks like a, a speaker above the TV there. And 
the cabinets in this it's almost like a matte finish just really high end so I'm going to leave the Murphy bed up for right now and walk through the coach now one of the things that I think is a Tommy Bahama feature is this sweet little uh, bar area for your glasses and your uh, cocktail uh, hour bottles uh, real nice cabinets uh, you can just you can feel the wood you can feel the quality when you open and close these and just top-notch styling it has a huge skylight here I've been told that it will air out really quickly and they really use the storage space well this is going to be when the Murphy bed is down you've got storage by the window there and excellent lighting throughout the coach and the middle of the coach is going to be the kitchen area and then the bathroom is going to be in the back of the coach now it's a pretty pretty full kitchen you've got a stove top you've got storage above the sink there and just beautiful woodwork i don't know if, if that's like a leaf pattern carved in but it's it's a very rich feel and just gives it a, a nice laid back luxurious feel now this coach is listed at la mesa rv and i will point out they carry a lot of other brands but they don't carry airstream airstream is really a top, high end kind of top of the line brand that not every dealer gets to sell so you've got a nice microwave above your refrigerator and cabinet space to the right of the refrigerator as well and the, the flooring in this coach is absolutely beautiful it's almost like a marine style flooring that you would see on a yacht and just beautiful woodwork the drawers you can really feel how sturdy everything is when you open and close it really finished off nicely and the rear bathroom is probably my favorite part about this coach just absolutely beautiful the way it's lit and the teak wood in the shower there just gives it a, a Tommy Bahama vibe and it, it's just a, a great package overall and of course the Airstream aluminum interior throughout the coach and Airstream uses all of the right spaces for storage they're very innovative you've got storage above the head and this is a really nice sliding door here with the full mirror hey everybody had to get a quick selfie there for you guys I've got it in slow motion here to try to keep the camera a little bit more steady I raced through these coaches so I slowed it down a little bit for you guys so you've got wardrobe space there and there are stackable shelves as well and you can see that this is a used coach because there's there's stuff in there it looks like cedar lined on the inside and 95 degrees in there it was pretty warm I'm putting in work for you guys yeah, you can see there's still hangers in there so it's definitely a used coach and those people uh, didn't have this coach for very long. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think this is a good deal for a used RV? It's almost brand new, but how deep of a discount do you think a one-year-old coach should be? And a lot of that's gonna depend on supply and demand as well. So more drawer space here below the wardrobe closet. So for a class B they've got a lot of storage stuffed into this coach now that Murphy bed will go up and here I'm gonna make an attempt to put it up so when you press the buttons that switched a motor that was putting out the leg rest and that wasn't working and you got to get trained on these guys I'm just walking through them at the RV show and usually the salespeople are way too busy to talk to me they've had customers they've been selling coaches like crazy at these RV shows so I'm happy just to get a look at them so I had to set the camera down here just to try to figure this out this seems kind of sketchy like a hidden camera show I was trying to find somewhere to set the camera down and that looks like a good spot so this was a lot harder than I thought it was so I'm gonna move the pillows out of the way first but while I did that I noticed that there's a really cool reading light here wanted to point that out to you guys 
I really like all the finishes that they use. So, sorry, my ADD kicked in. Got to get that last pillow off. Okay, I'm going to make another attempt to get this Murphy bed up now that the pillows are off. And I'm not having any luck, guys. I might have just needed to muscle it a little bit more, but I want to be really gentle with all this stuff. I don't want to break anything, so I'm going to go ahead and throw these pillows back on. But there is another video where I showed the coach with the Murphy bed up and with the Murphy bed down, and that was when it was brand new. It might have even been the same coach, but... Um, yeah, you can check that video out if you want to see that. I will point out one of the features this coach has is below the mattress, those flexible spring kind of things. I, I couldn't stop but help trying to lift that mattress up. I just wasn't getting it. But those springs are supposed to make the mattress a lot more comfortable. So what are your thoughts overall on the Airstream Atlas? Please drop a comment below. I'm curious what you guys think. $240,000 sticker price, $200,000 used. Looks like it's had a little bit of use, but really is in good condition overall, in my opinion. And I think this is probably the most stylish RV on the market. Two hundred grand, A very well thought out floor plan where you can live in it or you can turn that Murphy bed into a couch. And, one of the cool things about these sprinters you don't see is that step right there above the license plate frame was a step. So when you wanna wash your windshield, you can easily stand on that step. There's the VIN number in case any of you wanna look up this coach. So I greatly appreciate all of you that are liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.